Hi friends. So <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed a pregnancy update or pretty much any video really. I always have intentions and then I just don't do it. And part of the reason I don't do it is because I, <laughs> I feel like a troll monster most of the time. Like I don't get ready. I don't do my hair. I don't wear makeup. So when it comes to thinking about filming a video, I'm like, ugh, I'm not filming one today. Um, yeah, today I still didn't really do those things, but I figured I'm going to film one today anyways. Um, so today's video is going to kind of be an update and what my birth plan is as it is today. <laughs> we all know Corona. It's causing some problems, but um, not as many for me as I've seen for a lot of people. So for that, I'm thankful. So yep, update, kind of what our birth plan is, and just, yeah, that's my plan. Um, so today, right now, as I'm filming this, I am 37 weeks, which, um, where I go, if they do consider full term, so Stu 2 could be coming out at any time, which is always a weird thought when you get to the end, because, okay, it could, she could come any time. She could also come in, like, a month. <laughs> It seems like such a big span of, will she come today? Will she not? Yeah, so I went to my birth cottage appointment today. I'm 37 weeks. She's measuring measuring at 38 weeks, so that's good. And her back, I guess she's rotating to be back in the front, but right now her back is kind of like along my side. Um... Her heartbeat was good, my blood pressure was good, I don't have diabetes, like I said in my last video, and my group B strep swab was negative. So, all of those things are great, which means less complications. Hopefully there are none. Again, with Evie's labor, it was long, but there were no real complications. At the end, there were a few. But hopefully all will go well. In this day and age, I'm actually quite glad, even more so, that we're not planning on a hospital birth. Some of the things that I've been seeing about hospital births and their policies lately have just been terrible. I definitely don't think she'll come today or even this week. Um, when I had Evie, though, she Evie did come during my 38th week. So, I mean, again, I'm not really assuming she'll be here next week, but she could be. And that's a little bit stressful in these times. I'm definitely not one to freak out about the coronavirus. Um, I didn't really stockpile a, st a ton of stuff or anything. I don't have 25 years supply of toilet paper or anything. But for me, I think the... I'm mostly just a little sad about it. Mainly because after I have her, one of these, th one of these things we'll talk about later when I talk about the birth cottage plans, but one thing I'm sad about is just our lack of visitors. Like, we won't have people be able to come over and see her and just, like, hang out. I love visitors. I love hanging out with people. So, <laughs> the thought of just having a baby and then going home and being there. Thankfully, Joe, my husband, will be home too, but just us by ourselves... It's just not as fun. It's not as exciting and it makes it a little bit sad for me. So not excited about that. And again, who knows when this baby's coming. Maybe it'll all blow over in a couple weeks and I'll be fine. But as it is, I'm in Massachusetts, the state that I'm in. Um, things are closed and schools and quarantine until April 7th, tentatively. The way things are, they don't seem to be getting better. Everyone's getting crazier. I'm assuming it will last longer than that, and I'm due April 13th. So, again, maybe she won't come during this time, but it's kind of looking like she probably will. But as far as what I was talking about before, which was just like being 37 weeks and how things are going, things are going pretty good. I am pretty out of breath. Sleeping has been not great. <laughs> Not great at all for the past like two weeks. Man, my hip hurts so much after like a couple hours. So I wake up and then I have to roll over and then rolling over 
Rolling over is an exercise in and of itself. Um, actually, our bed has these slats and I, I like use one of them to heave myself over because it is hard. It is heavy and it is round. So that's not fun. And then again, it happens a couple hours later because my other hip hurts. And when you switch sides, I feel like everything in my body has to like switch to that side. So it's just uncomfy. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically sleeping is not awesome. And then I'll wake up in the morning at like 4.30 and be kind of awake, but I don't want to get up. So that's sleeping. I will also say that she's definitely gotten a little bit lower which is good in a way. It's still, she still makes me out of breath. I have not noticed an increase in my appetite because I've just always been so hungry. <laughs> I will say this week I've eaten more than my fair share of Cadbury mini eggs, but there are cars, sorry. Yes? Sure. What you doing? Nothing. Oh, your hair looks silly. <laughs> Wait, let me fix your hair a little bit. It's snowing! Yep, that's the other thing. The other thing that's joyful about this week. It's not joyful. Um, but anyways, back to how I've been feeling. <laughs> how have I been feeling? Good. <laughs> good, pretty good. Um, but yeah, my appetite's been the same. I've been getting more uncomfortable. I definitely feel a lot more pressure. When I sit and get up, I feel like my my stomach has to like adjust back down, which is a strange feeling. Um, stuff like going up the stairs and putting on pants is really uncomfy because um, the inside of my thighs feel like I have done a thigh workout. Mom, look at it. I made a happy face. Oh, that's a nice happy face. Hi. Hello. <laughs> You take a smile with me? Jeez. All right. I'm going to keep talking, okay? You can stay in here if you're quiet. I see. I wrote down a few symptoms, but really... Pass. What? Because i got to get something to show them. She has to get something to show you. I will say I've had a little bit more of acid reflux than most of the time. Not too bad, though, but still a little bit more. Yeah, overall... It's not been anything terrible. It's not, I don't feel terrible most of the time. Generally, I'm very uncomfy and I get very tired. All right, I'm gonna show them. I got no baby voice though. Oh, what did you get? I got two rice, two, um, right, two girl, two girl, girl cowboys. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to keep talking, okay? Because I want to finish this before I run out of battery. So, yeah, overall, I would say third trimester is fine. Not great, but fine. As far as my birth plan, I've mentioned a couple times before that we've been planning to go to a place called the Birth Cottage, which is basically just an alternative birth center. Basically set up kind of like a house in the back. So, as far as where we're gonna go into labor. Um, so we are going to an alternative birth center, barring any complications that happen during labor. Hoping they don't happen because I want to avoid the hospital, but I'm glad because like I mentioned earlier, some of the things I've been seeing about hospital policies are crazy. I've seen some people, um, mostly in just like the what to expect group chats. I've seen people say that their hospital is changing to one support person only, so only their husband can come, which we've kind of been planning mostly to just have my husband come, but, you know, in the hospitals now it's a rule. In some hospitals, no one can come. Like, you can't have your husband or partner there while you have a baby, which I don't think is super awesome. I always say my ideal birth plan is to give birth in a black hole by myself and emerge with a baby, but since that's not the case, I would rather have someone with me. But um, yeah, I've seen people say that they're not allowed to bring anyone. I've seen people say that some hospitals are testing everyone who comes in for coronavirus. And I don't know if you've seen those memes, those little pictures about the swab that they stick into like your brain practically, but <laughs> I'm not into that. I don't want that, thank you. Yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of things go around that make me glad that we are not going to the hospital. 
a few days ago they did send the birth cottage sent out an email where they are changing some of their policies and I'm a little sad about it so a couple things that are just kind of inconvenience but I understand why is you can't bring kids to the appointment anymore which again I understand why but it's also kind of like it's a it's a struggle you know I can't imagine being um, the parents right now that they both are essential workers and they have kids it kind of defeats the purpose of quarantine in a way because they say like quarantine self-isolate but essential workers and people who need to have people watch their kids like that's just not happening <laughs> and so I don't know in a way I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose but again I see why but um so you can't bring kids anymore they also went down to one support person which is fine um they also canceled not canceled. I think they're doing more limited office visits now. I did go in today. I'm 37 weeks, so I'm actually I like actually was at the cutoff point of when they would still see me. So I am 37 weeks. My next appointment on when I'm 38 weeks, I will most likely do on the phone just because nothing has really been like troublesome or different, just like cruising along. So next week will probably be on the phone. And then my 39-week appointment, I'll go in again. Where I go, um, they don't really do, like, cervical checks, stuff like that, which I'm glad about. I mean, I don't need to know. <laughs> people are at, like, people can be at, like, one, two, three centimeters for weeks. Like, I don't need to go and see that I'm, like, dilated and think, oh, it's happening now, because it's probably not. And really, that just increases risk of infection and all that stuff. So, not at all sad we don't do that. Some other things that they have put into place. Oh, I was also really sad because obviously only one support person can come and I'd really wanted if Stu Two came at like a decent time of day, like not too late, not too um, early, whatever. You don't stay at the birth center for more than like a few or a handful of hours after you give birth, which was never my favorite part. Like I didn't mind the hospital. It's nice to have um, the hospital bring you food and all that stuff. So that wasn't my favorite part, but I had really hoped that if she came at an okay time, that whoever Evie was watching, or whoever was watching Evie, could bring her up to, like, see her baby sister. And also at the birth cottage, they do this fun thing where the room you have them in, they take um, footprints. They do footprints on the wall, and they, like, write their name and date of birth. Um, so I had really thought it'd be nice, if at all possible, to have Evie come and, like, you know, see her sister, maybe help us pick where to put the footprints, and just kind of, like, be a part of that a little bit. Um, but that's not going to be happening now, so I was a little bit sad about that. Um, and I think the last thing I can remember that really affects me is just what they also had that was really nice was, you know, how typically you have a baby, and then within a couple days you bring the baby into the doctor, and I think you go to, like, just to get checked out. And it's a hassle. Like, a day or two after you have a baby and you get home, like, you don't want to leave. But what they did was they would come to your house and do a home visit, which was really nice. But they're not going to be doing that during this time. So I'll probably still have to go out and bring our, our baby somewhere. Again, I'm not really sure how it's all going to look in the next few weeks. I don't know. If everything seems fine, if that's considered like an essential appointment or if they're only going to see like if you have an issue, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so that's kind of like our birth plan. One thing that I really, while in labor, we're going to stay home for a while. My plan is this, considering I haven't really said it. My plan is this. We're going to the birth cottage because I really like the environment. It's not as stressful as a hospital. And they don't have the ep um, epidural as an option. I really wanted to avoid it the first time. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> so this time I really, would really like to try again. Um, and like I said, the atmosphere is a lot less stressful. One other thing that I'm really hoping to use is they have one of those really big like birthing tubs. And I wanted to use one for my first birth, but the hospital we were in did not use them. And I just feel like it would help contractions and labor and just be more comfortable. I don't know how comfy you can be during labor, but I feel like it would be helpful. That's my main birth plan. I don't have a lot of like details 
We are doing the vitamin K shot. The one that they have at the birth cottage doesn't have preservatives and stuff in it. So that's better and I feel okay about that. Some people might say this is kind of foolish because, you know, if you don't have a plan, you're not going to do it. But my plan is basically to just have the baby and whatever I have to do for it to come out is just how it's going to be. I'm not really one to, <laughs> to worry a ton about things like that. I'm just not too concerned. I know it's probably not going to be my favorite time of my life, but at the end, it'll be worth it. One thing that was really fun last Saturday, today is Monday. March, March 23rd. Um, last Saturday, I actually had, um, my battery died, <laughs> but last Saturday we actually had a, um, surprise baby shower, which I was quite surprised. <laughs> I, um, my friend and her mom actually drove me there because we had just gotten a haircut and she drove me there and I still had no idea, even though I saw a bunch of cars there. I don't know. I'm not exactly the brightest bulb at times. But um, <laughs> it was a huge surprise, and I'm so thankful because as all this was starting to ramp up, it wasn't like quite in the throes of like quarantine. They were starting to talk about social distance, but it wasn't really like don't meet in greater groups of 10 type of thing. So it was really nice because I had been realizing that I hadn't really bought diapers or wipes or even some of the other things that I needed for like after having stew too and the stores were starting to be wiped clean of those things. Like you couldn't find wipes at the store. So I was like, um, are we going to have a baby in the pioneer days? I don't know. <laughs> so it was really a huge blessing. I got a lot of diapers and a lot of wipes. So we're pretty good on that front. We got some really cute clothes and just some things that we needed. Um, I think one of my most exciting things that I got was paper cups and plates and like plastic silverware. <laughs> Um, I don't love washing dishes and we don't have a dishwasher, so it'll be nice that after the baby we can just like dispose of those things and not have to worry about it for a couple weeks. It was just really nice and just unexpected. You know, this is my second baby, my second girl. Granted, we don't really have any like baby, baby, newborny stuff from her um, and even just a lot of the other baby stuff I just didn't keep because it had been a while. Um, so I was really thankful. The video was kind of rambly. I don't know if I wanted to say anything else that I forgot. One thing I'm not excited about right now, it's snowing. It's snowing right out there. Um, I've seen a lot of people on these self-quarantine things saying, oh, like, playing in the sun, like, in the sun, you know, playing in the sprinkler. And we've had a couple nice days, but mostly it's been kind of gray, wet. Today it's snowing. It's probably not going to stay, but that'll just mean it'll be soggy and wet. So not my favorite. That's another thing that's interesting about, you know, quarantining and social social distancing. We live in a townhouse scenario, and there are quite a few kids, um, especially in the middle building. There's three buildings, and there are quite a few kids. And whenever it's been nice, all of the kids have been outside playing. And, of course, Stu, Evie, my daughter, she's four. She sees all the kids outside, wants to play with all the kids outside. And honestly, up until this point, I've let her. It's just a little, I don't know. You know, do I just keep her in all the time? I don't know. After this shenanigan dies down and it gets nice, am I going to let her play outside? I don't know. It kind of sucks to have to stay inside. I did get her some like Dollar Tree crafts and things. So hopefully even when the weather is gross, it's not boring. Yeah, it's a weird time. You know, I know quarantine and self-distancing and... I get why to do it, and I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea, but I think that people are also a little bit crazy. Ooh, I've also been having a lot more Braxton Hicks, and it's pretty funny because my stomach literally just like morphs. It's like round, and then it will like have one end like stick way out in the front. So, Ooh, did the angle change? Maybe it did a little bit. I just brought some stuff in from the car, and I forgot to say a couple things that I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. I came up the stairs. Um, one, a couple things, just like symptoms-wise. For one, my congestion is much worse. Um, I don't know if it's seasonal allergies as well, but it just like pretty much every night, it gets super blocked, super congested. Hate it. Next, as far as weight gain, I think I've gained 22 pounds as of now. Not, <laughs> not the worst, but a little bit like ooh when I think of it all added up. So that's fun. As far as stretch marks, I have no new 
stretch marks. I think I did a pretty good job stretching the last time, but I do have what I like to call outskirt stretches, like tiny little like red spurts. Um, <laughs> and there's not many of them, just a few. And if that's the main extent of what I get as far as those, I'm fine with that. Um, I guess I will show you what my stomach looks like. It's kind of awkward because where I am, I'm gonna like go on the bed to show you because my bed's right here and there's my laundry. But yeah, I don't know if you can really see, but it's all like right here. Eh. <laughs> Feels huge and weird. I hope you have a great day and if you guys get to be home with your kids or your family, I hope you're enjoying that time. And if not, then I hope you guys avoid getting sick and just keep moving right along and hopefully this will all blow over sooner rather than later but again i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next time that i see you bye